Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm super excited. The marina finally has the trailer and motor in for this little boat. So we're gonna get it power washed up, try to get it cleaned up, and go take it out. I'm gonna power wash all this gunk off. Hopefully, hopefully it comes off. This boat has literally been sitting for 20 years. I actually have to move it though because the uh, hose for the power washer will not reach out here. So I think I got an idea to move this thing by myself. First thing we need is a rope. Got it. Next, we're gonna tie it to this ring. Now let's tie a bowling knot in this thing. We attach it to the hitch. Toss this extra rope in the back. Now I just gotta flip this thing over and we can drag it with the truck. Yes. All right, we did it. There's some monster spiders in here. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. I do not even remember these wood post things. No memory whatsoever of those being in here. I just remember straight flat seats. We got the uh, power washer out. Look at the date on this. 1997 is the last tag on that. That's amazing. 20 years old, March of 97, so it's over 20 years old that it's been sitting. And we're done. Wow. It's a butte, Clark. Thing looks brand new. All right, now for the fun part. This is gonna be just like the olden days. We gotta pick the boat up, shove it, jam it in the back of the truck, because the marina has the trailer. I probably should've just went and got the trailer, brought it back, put the boat on the trailer, and then hauled it back to put the motor on it, but that'd be too easy. This is a blast from the past. Look at this. This rope's been on here for 20 years. I almost feel bad about cutting it off. Oh, Bye, McFly. That's some uh, serious old Atwood rope right there. You should take this rope in and have it snapped and see what, how strong it is after sitting for 20 years. Yeah, that looks good. All right, well, we got her in. It's uh, pretty ridiculous. Sticking out of the back of this thing. I think we flipped it over the other way, but I don't know how we did that because it didn't look right at all. I like it was half boat, half truck. <laughs> truck boat. Truck boat. Right, let's go pick up a trailer and a motor. Everything about this boat looks super good, except these seals. I don't know if I'm gonna have to re-seal that or not. You can't. Those rivets hold that on there forever. I know nothing about boats, so I, I don't know. We're just going to put it in the water and hopefully we don't sink. The Atwood Hillbillies coming to a lake near you. <laughs> All right, well, we're headed down the road. Boat in the back. So excited. Getting close to getting this thing in the water. And, uh, you know, kids are still sick, though, so I can't take them out fishing or anything today. Uh, this is like day four that they've been sick, so uh, real bummer there. Uh, I went to the marina, dropped the boat off, and uh, they need time. They gotta hook stuff up, and that takes time. The motor's like brand new in a crate, so they have to prep it and get it ready. Hi right, guys, let me explain. It has been some time. I have not been feeling well for about four days. Uh, I, I, I dropped the boat off a week and one day ago what you were just watching and I am just now kind of feeling up to doing anything so uh, the boat is ready they did need some time when I dropped it off they had to prep the motor and stuff so they needed some time but we're gonna go pick it up right now still under the weather but I think I'm ready to do this let's go welcome back hi Jess what do you think it's the uh, Avalon it's the one you wanted yeah, I figured we pop into the bigger one. You know, I f you like pontoons anyway. Pontoons. All right, just kidding. It's this one. <laughs> wow. It's cute. Uh, oh no. Oh, you think you're gonna drive? Yeah. You think you can handle the power? I don't think you should be touching that. I don't think you can break it, and if you can, really? it's not built right. Looks good. All right, let's pay for it. The little one escaped. You guys ready? Dale, you ready for this? Yeah. You are. You gonna drive the boat? Yeah. I'm in for that. Blind I'll let you, you. drive. I'm taking it away. Hey, don't wreck that now. It's a cherry piece of family heirloom. Boat's on its way. Thing looks like it's popping a wheelie already. 
Right, well, it has been 25 years. Oh, it is a snake. It's been 25 years since I've rode in this boat. Whoa. It's gonna take me some time to get my sea legs. <laughs> Need help? All right, guys, we're taking it out on its maiden voyage. Nails helped me navigate the waters. Just the, just the sun tanning on the top deck. We got rain hitting us in the morning. This is Rio, Ohio. Yeah, it looks like it's getting kind of nasty. Sick for four days. This will be good. This will be real good for me. Evan Rude, 25 horsepower, electric start, pull start backup. This is nice, this is fun. That's a nice 360, Dale, where are we headed? So for three summers, we actually grew up, we had a summer rental house on the lake that was actually just right over there. This boat's fun with the little extra horsepower. Uh, it had a 5.5 on it and it was like so slow. This thing cruises. It reminds me of all the boats like on the islands where everyone's like going 50 and these little things across the ocean. All right, just keep it under 50. <laughs> and who's steering the ship? I don't know, it does go fast. It's got a lot of ponies under it. All right, hang on, Conrad. Imagine you couldn't fit 25 horses in this boat, but yet we've got 25 horses back here. Yeah, it's impressive. All right, guys, so time has passed. Uh, truth be told, I just still don't feel that great. So I kind of set the camera down and the day just went past. I don't know what's going on. My throat and my body are just not happy right now. So uh, hopefully a couple more days I'll be back at it and uh, feeling good. Love the new boat. We'll be doing some really fun stuff with the boat. Maybe catching some monster fish. Who knows what we'll come up with with this boat. I want to get a vinyl decal for the back of it to like name it. You know how they like name fancy boats? Well, I don't know if it's tacky on like a this boat, but I want to do it anyway. I want to get like a vinyl decal made and name the boat. I haven't come up with a name, so if you guys think of a cool name for the boat, write it in the comments below, and uh, who knows, maybe you'll name the boat. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.